What is happening fellow Cobras? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be explaining the ancient Miyagi-Do scrolls. But before we get started, if this is your first time being here with us and you love Cobra Kai and Karate Kid, you're in the right place. Consider joining our dojo today by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turning on all notifications so you never miss a new video. Way back in Season 3 of Cobra Kai, when Daniel visited Okinawa and was bonding with Chosen, he came across some of the ancient scrolls that belonged to the Miyagi family that contained certain moves and techniques. But in Season 3 of the show, the only one that was revealed to us was the one containing the crane technique. However, there was one closed all the way up and tied shut that Chosen snatched away from Daniel. But of course, after their sparring session, Chosen revealed his true personality and changed from his past ways back in the 80s. And right before Daniel left to return back to the valley, Chosen graciously gave Daniel the secret scroll to take back with him. And while at first we didn't learn the contents of the scroll in Season 3, but right around the midway point of Season 4 we were shown what was inside. And to those who don't speak or understand Japanese, it would be unknown what the inside writing means. But the YouTuber over at Karate Dojo Waku was fortunate enough to translate what the scroll means and says for us. So I'm going to quickly play a clip of him translating the writing and give you my thoughts on what it could mean for the future of the franchise. The chosen one is the chosen one. Uses the roar of the seesaw. Seesaws are... Remember I, I said, remember the, the, the lion looking creature in Okinawa with uh, usually at the front of the house? It's called a shisa. So um, the chosen one with the roar of the shisa um, stops the heart of a dragon. Uh, from here, shikashi, shite kudasai. But be careful. Shiyosha wa shi ni chokumen suru ka mo shiremasen. The user might face death. So to recap, in full, it translates in English to The Chosen One, using the roar of the Shisar, which is a giant lion, stops the heart of a dragon, but must be careful, the user might face death. So of course it's pretty obvious that this is the dark side of Miyagi-Do, as this says it holds the contents of a potentially fatal move. That's a technique that I hope none of us will ever need to use. Gotta be careful with this, okay? Which of course is saying that it could kill the enemy, but at the same time, it could kill the user as well. And when you stop and think about a show like Cobra Kai, the concept of murder has been shown numerous times in flashbacks with Kreese, and it was also even attempted in Season 3 at present time when Kreese tried to kill Daniel and Johnny. So this concept of murder and death won't be anything new to the Cobra Kai franchise. So I think it's definitely possible for something like this to occur, but I couldn't really see any of our heroes using this type of philosophy or technique on an enemy. But there is certainly someone who would go to these lengths to achieve this type of victory. And of course, you know who it is, it's Terry Silver. And I'm not saying he's going to be successful in committing these acts, but like I said, it's certainly not out of the realm of possibility that he'll at least attempt this. And I'm not really sure how this type of thing would go down, but Silver could definitely become aware of this deadly technique that Daniel possesses and could try to sneak into his residence or his dojo to try and take it. Because after all, we've seen him break into places where Daniel has lived before, and this time he could want to use that technique for himself, regardless of the risks that would come with it. And heck, Silver may not even be able to read it, but Daniel and Chosen still better keep their guards up and keep that scroll out of harm's way. This theory definitely is a far-fetched one, but with the scroll popping back up in the show again and the contents being revealed, I think that this is for sure a tease that it could be popping up again in future seasons and possibly that it could play a important role coming soon. But with that being said, guys, that'll do it for this video. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments section what do you think of this ancient Miyagi-Do scroll and what do you think it could mean for the future of the franchise. You know what to do next. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and make sure you're subscribed to Strike First Media. I got plenty more seasons four and five videos coming that you won't want to miss. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.